What I love about this house and um, you know what it means for Three Birds, I think this will really show acreage living and I love that. I love that we can kind of show a part of Sydney and a part of our world that is just that little bit further out and something that is a little bit different as well. You come in off the street level which is quite high up and then you're going to come down a driveway and look over the top of this beautiful single storey sprawling residence. And at the back of that is going to be a pool area where the land drops away again to just green meadows and bushland. Wow. From the ground like the perfect little scenario for me because I've got my best mate Louisa who is designer for three birds and then all of a sudden it's like all the worlds have collided and we're doing a house together. I have known Bonnie oh probably going on 15 years now so I met Bonnie through my husband they went to school together and then I have two boys, beautiful boys, that are just my heart and soul. I have Spence, who's eight, and then we have our Dasha, who's five years old, always into the arts and crafts and draws a rainbow at least once a day. So we're going from sea to tree. I was always a Northern Beaches girl, and now we're coming out to the Hills District. Yeah, brother, it's time. So I work as a head designer with Bonnie in the creative team at Three Birds Renovations. The bond between the three girls really fizzes down to everyone else who gets to work with them as well. Everyone is just actually good friends, good mates. She's someone who I genuinely love being around and that's the beauty of our business. I mean, I get to work with all of my mates. They've um, brought so much love, support, trust. They've brought laughter when I've needed laughter. It goes beyond just my family, it's my extended family as well. It, we are one, everyone's together supporting each other. I'm feeling emotional about uh, working with the girls because Whatever I need at the time, they're there and they, they support me and supply that with whatever I need at that time. And I truly will forever be grateful to these three girls. Sorry. Just, it's on the most beautiful block of land. It's single story, you know, for most of it, apart from, you know, little loft sections throughout. Now, the style of this home is just going to embody Louisa. <laughs> She's super stylish, always looks amazing, and, and, a, and a nice mismatch of different styles sometimes I find. So I think her house is going to be the same. This will still be relaxed, and you can feel relaxed in it, but it's just got this beautiful luxe feeling to it. A lot of creams and whites, big palms, high ceilings, resort kind of feel with a lot of texture. I think it's going to be stunning and beautiful in a way we've never done before and we'll never do again. There's, there's a couple of different structures here on the property. So the plan at the moment is to build the pool house and then they will dive into the main house. So the pool house has an undercover area that will have the barbecue on the left hand side and I think we'll do some kind of dining seated area on the other side. So you'll open up big gorgeous sliding doors into a living area and behind that living area will be a gorgeous bar and maybe um, a kitchenette and a Euro laundry. To the right hand side you've got a bedroom and a bathroom and to the left hand side you've got another bedroom and then we're thinking a big day bed that overlooks all the land. Wow, oh my gosh, it's so good standing in it, isn't it? So, okay, so Lou, talk us through here. Bedroom? Yes. Guest bed? Yeah. Big window? Massive window, oh. my God. So Lou will be leading the design on this project. She is picking up fixtures, fittings, colours, 
sizes, heights, all of those things, which is what she naturally does in her role with us at Three Birds. So she works very closely alongside Bonnie. I love that it's separate. Like it's a proper separate space that you walk away from your house and you go to it. Yeah. It's just awesome. The vision, the vibe, the feel. How do we want it to feel? How do we want it to, you walk in the room, what do you want to feel? It's similar to you, it wants to be holidays, yeah. tropical, yeah. bringing in, you know, pattern. Pattern. Colour. Colour. Fun. Fun. Yeah, okay. So what were you thinking? You know how we're talking about maybe building that day bed that overlooks that whole entire area? Colour-wise, were you thinking colour or were you thinking more muted? More muted maybe, but yeah. I just want it to be like a full cushion of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you speak of tonal, but add yeah. in heaps of prints. Yeah, so, so lots substance. of different prints, but different patterns. Yeah. Well, I'm loving, I'm loving those tones. Yes. And then how much fun can we have in the bathroom? Are we having a lot of fun or are we like just toning it down a little bit? I think we can have a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a pool house. Yeah, I agree. Mm. All right, so colour-wise, is this why that's here? Yeah, got you. Awesome. Beautiful. I mean, have a look at that. If that doesn't scream pool house, I don't know what does. <laughs> and then obviously the handles. Yeah. Brass, Brass, gold, beautiful. Yeah, see that colour is so beautiful in the flooring, in the woodcut flooring. Mm. Just really nice and I think it all works. Yeah. Can you imagine how beautiful this is going to look? Like you've got that unbelievable bush view. Backdrop. The backdrop is like art. And then Random got, gum trees oh, popping out. The colours there are amazing and then you've got this pool with that drop edge that, you know, and then around it, it's going to look insane. coming together we're just about ready to fit it out and it's it's a basically a space where you can live you can eat you can entertain we've been painting our paint swatches on the wall and that's always the best way to choose is actually painting it on the surface but it's a pretty big decision choosing the exterior color for the whole home not just the pool house but this is going to carry for the whole home and it's about which white, of course. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be so hot here today. It's blissful. It's nice, isn't it? Do you know what's funny? I'm like so blind, like so blind. But when it comes to whites, I can see the slightest like detail of the difference. The first one is Quarter, I can't read it. I feel like I've picked it. Wait, is it Casper? What's the first one? The first one is Snowy Mountain Quarter. No. Casper White Quarter. No. White on White. No. Lexicon Half. Maybe. Oh, so that's out for me now. That was my front row to begin with when we hadn't done... I know what one you're going to pick. You're going to pick Smack Bang right in the middle. No! What are you going to pick? Lexicon Quarter. That one? Yeah. Down. Well, it, for the minute. I'll change my mind in three minutes. Okay, but look down, look up. It can be a really tough one in any renovation to choose which white. And our biggest tip is that you have to paint big colour swatches right next to each other. Yeah, I think the um, vivid white. All right, okay, vivid white. Vivid white. Even when Bonnie does that, she changes her mind. Um, and this project is no different. So Bon and Lou had decided on Vivid White, which is a classic Dulux colour. Everyone's heard of Vivid White, but there has been a mind change to Lexicon Half, which is another classic Dulux colour. I love it. It's on the whole inside of my home, so it gets a big thumbs up from me. And I think it's just going to be beautiful to completely coat this home in Lexicon Half. Now it begins. love all the paint choices. You know, we always wanted a white home um, with all the cladding and this is that traditional linear cladding. So the Dulux Lexicon Half is exactly what that home needed. It's so fresh. It's not up ahead, it's here and happening. So be ready. Now it begins. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I hadn't, I have not seen the woodcut. Oh, no. What's this colour again? Sea salt. Got a lot more grey in it. A lot of grey. A lot it? of grey. And it's, it's, it's just darker than, you know, the, the blonde. So the pool house is like its own mini whole home renovation because it's got all these rooms, it's got a bathroom, it's basically got a kitchen. So we kind of get to see a mini version of the whole house already. So we've identified these amazing doors that have gone on from Parkwood, these timber louvers. And having seen them go on in the pool house now, the only challenge is us thinking we want them throughout the whole home. I'm happy with them in the pool house. It was just a discussion that we're having for the main house. As bedroom doors? As all the doors. I can't, I love them so much. No, I do I love them because I don't, I don't close bedroom doors, so I love them. Yes. Because so to me, I, I don't feel need... like you're like yeah. Luba ha happy. Yeah, but she doesn't close bedroom doors, so for me, I feel like she's out of the conversation. But what, why <laughs> would you close your bedroom door? Other than to gossip about, <laughs> like, what are your kids doing in there with the door question. closed? At no, no, no. What about a master suite? Oh, do you, closing the door. I never close the door to my bedroom. Okay, well, that's another whole episode and conversation. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that Erin thought that there was no issue with there being open louvers on the bedroom. I feel like we're going forward with Just the louver doors. With them. Just do it. <laughs> Oh, I'm you're not approving that. this. No, you're... I approve personal choice. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. No tears then. We get no, our doors. No, nah, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Nothing private goes on in those rooms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we're booking in some time to have a chat with you about why your bedroom door's never closed. <laughs> why, why do you want to close the door? I still find it bizarre that Erin didn't see where we were coming from as to why you would want to shut your bedroom door. <laughs> Apart from the obvious, we Yes, should... okay, well let's talk the about the obvious. Oh. That's what we have to have a meeting about. Oh, there's different places, there's different times, what? there's different, different places. places. The so car. not that, yeah, not the bedroom. <laughs> oh, that, wow. Well, That's a whole other conversation. I thought it was boring. It's yeah, clearly yeah. far more exciting. Okay, whatever floats your boat is. Design-wise with this bathroom, we thought it's a pool house, we want to have a little bit of fun, so you, let's use some colour. If that tile from Tile Cloud doesn't scream pool house, I don't know what does. So James Hardy on one wall with all the gold accents. The bar area is just insane, like in trim, detailing around that curved bar. Oh God, that day was so eerie. I, um, it was so burning hot, it was about 45 degrees, it was windy, it just had this terrible feeling in the air. I went up to the street just to get the boys an ice block and I received the text message from RFS and um, it just said, you know, urgent, take shelter, escape it. And I could smell the air and there was helicopters in the distance and um, we just had to say, boys, you know, you've got to get out of here. I was actually feeling really scared, really scared. It actually, it's giving me shivers now. There's a bushfire emergency on Sydney's northwestern outskirts this afternoon with properties in Box Hill and Nelson under direct threat. It's too late to leave and they need to take shelter. Temperatures are over 40 degrees and winds are gusting to over 80 kilometres an hour. You know, to get a text while you're on site to say, it's too late, you can't leave, find cover or find shelter. I mean, I remember talking to Lou about it afterwards and she was shaking, like absolutely shaking. stage of this pool install. The pool lining is going on. It's all coming yep. to life, Phil, isn't it? This is the day. This is the day. Yeah, this is a one of the final processes. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do this today and then fill it with water and it's ready to go. Let's have a look at these granules because right. I find this really interesting. We've got a colour or a yep. light, light blue yep. and we've got a clear bead. Yep. 
obviously mix them together. Yep. <laughs> get a bit of a colour. Once this is done, what they'll do is take, uh, they'll get a high pressure uh, water blaster in there, yeah. take all the sheen off the top, bring all this glass bead out so you can yep. see it. Got it. Uh, and then they'll acid wash it. I think it's definitely the best pool that we've ever done. It's beautiful, it's the backdrop. You can't beat that backdrop with that pool. I can see now, I'm so close. The pool house is just beautiful because it's all coming together now. And then the other feature in that pool house is obviously that bar area, which is insane. And just adding that Dulux pearlescent paint, I think it's called Gardenia Frost. Um, that is just beautiful. It goes beautifully with the lexicon. It just has that slight little shimmer with all that interim work. And I'm seeing it truly come to life with things like doors are going in, the tallow stones going in, the bars all built. It's gonna be a better day. All the amenities you need to live in it, yeah. basically. It has the size. I mean, it has two bedrooms. Mm. It's not really a traditional pool house. And none of the kitchen, when um, we designed this, we were trying to save some money. Yeah. And so Daz built all of this kitchen. None of it's custom joinery. And it's really, it shows you, I mean, you open up the two doors and there's a laundry behind the two doors. So, yes, but I mean, yeah. certainly nothing um, aesthetically spared because the yeah. interim scalloping of yeah. that front of kitchen bar yeah. is like the best cabinetry look in the world. I know, it's like, beautiful, isn't it? And with the pearlescent yeah. paint. Yeah, and we've never had um, a raised bar like this yeah. before. We've never done a raised bar. Yeah. And Why I, did we do that? Because we wanted to hide everything. Yeah. I really, really love the concept of opening up the doors. You're right near the pool. You've got all the different zones. You know how we zone everything? Yeah, yeah. And then my favourite feature in this whole entire room is the day bed. Yeah. Oh yeah. That outlook there is out of this world. I mean oh. that's what you'd have to assume that's what they bought the block of land for. They it's did. not just the, yeah. you know, it's quite a level block so it, and not down the driveway but level at the back here. It's that outlook. The Luxaflex Evo warnings. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. such a luxury item. Yeah. yeah. But so amazing. You seem like you've never been kissed before me. I would go Now these beautiful stacking doors here from Vantage, that, that's what makes it for me. That's what yeah. gives it that pool house feel. <laughs> then you've got the, um, the little kids playroom mm. and yeah. we've got that paint that matches the wallpaper at the bottom. So the bottom half is wallpaper, the top is that, your what's it called again? Art. It's called poo. It's always on the end of your tongue, poo poo spring. Poo poo, <laughs> poo, -poo spring? Yeah, yeah. Like P-double-O? No, P-U-P-U. -P -U. You know what I love in that bathroom is I love how it's playful. So you've got that colour of the tile from Tile Cloud, you know, laid in that diamond pattern. It's playful, it's fun. You've then got that 
glamour of the gold trim yeah, around, you know, around the um, oval niche or arch niche. <laughs> and sorry, and I'm then right. you've got those beacon wall sconces. they are just these little shells. And we've also got the change in texture. Yeah. So we've got the different shaped tiles, and then we've got the accent cladding on the walls. Mm. Um, and I, I just that adds to the fun of it for me using different and materials. And we've gone with a bright gold with the Reese products. Very we haven't bright. done that in a while. It's a pool house, you yeah. know. We could have fun with that bathroom. And the lighting and. Everything in this whole pool house is beacon. Yeah. I mean, that is just stunning sitting there in front of that window. Yeah. And then to soften it in the bedroom, you've got the gorgeous rattan. Now, girls, for me, it, it's actually the doors in this home that scream out holiday, staycation. Yeah. They're these beautiful parkwood kind of shutter like doors. And they're just like nothing I've ever seen. I love them. Who would have thought, you know, when you're designing a home, you think it's all about what the kitchen or the furniture, yeah. but the doors to, you know, rooms or mm. cabinetry, oh. that's what you're saying sets the tone for the house. And you're right. Yeah. But so many people would not think doors had that power. I think, Bon, I have to say this pool trumps even your pool oh. from uh, Concept Pools. Phil has done it again. He has. And yeah. it's the design of the curved edge at one end mm -hmm. and that sort of just almost infinity edge, even though it's not quite infinity, but just drop off at the side. The swim out. The it swim is, out. It's that's swim the, out. And that's me. the real vacation vibe yeah. there. It's unbelievable. Many things in this world I want to do and when and I mean, just even the styling around the pool. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so... Where's the pool boy? I'm, I'm waiting for I someone know. to come and say, do you need a fresh towel? Or can I charge that to your room? Those lounges, they're so substantial. And then just the black with the umbrellas. Yeah, talk so... me through that. I mean, we didn't discuss it. I just turned up one day and the black's there and I got quite a shock. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's just, I think the pool looks sophisticated. Yeah. Right. And, you know, we've got the black roof here with That's all the yes. black guttering. Um, oh, so we just brought sense. that black down a little bit. The whole design of this kitchen laundry powder mud is a layout. We're just trying to sort out all the detailing of the cabinetry, which is mammoth run dog. Yeah, yeah. I saw. You want that from a design perspective? No, I really, really want that. Sorry, that really excites me. Your budget just keeps going like this and this and this. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. No, but how much is that going to cost? Yeah. <laughs> this is a showpiece. This is non negotiable. We all want it from a design perspective. How do we get the curve right? God, it'd be good to have a tape measure, wouldn't it? <gasps> this kitchen needs, like, some cool... Some innovation. Innovation. Yeah, are you just communicating <laughs> with your mind? Because we've been left out.